Hello everyone, welcome to Basic Science Series. Today I bring you an interesting topic titled MAPS, which stands for Microbial Associated Molecular Patterns. In this video, we will explore what MAPS are and their importance in our health. Microbial patterns, also known as microbial associated molecular patterns, are molecules found on the surface of microorganisms that are recognized by the host immune system. These patterns are essential for maintaining a healthy gut microbiome as they help to stimulate the immune system and prevent the growth of pathogenic microorganisms. There are several types of microbial patterns including lipopolysaccharide which is also known as LPS, flagellin and peptidoglycan. Let's explore each type in more detail. Lipopolysaccharide or LPS is a component of outer membrane of gram-negative bacteria. It is a potent stimulator of the immune system and can cause inflammation if it enters the bloodstream. LPS, also known as endotoxin, is composed of two parts, lipid A and core oligosaccharide. Lipid A moiety is responsible for the toxic effects of LPS, while the core oligosaccharide is responsible for its immunogenic effect. Peptidoglycan is a component of cell wall of bacteria. It is a less potent stimulator of the immune system than LPS or flagellin, but it still plays an important role in maintaining gut health. Peptidoglycan contributes to the structural integrity of the bacterial cell wall, providing protection against osmotic stress and other environmental challenges. Peptidoglycan also facilitates cell division and shape determination of bacteria. In the gut, peptidoglycan interacts with the host immune system, prompting the production of antimicrobial peptides and other immune factors, aiding in the defense against pathogenic bacteria. Additionally, peptidoglycan fragments can modulate the gut microbiome, promoting the growth of beneficial bacteria and suppressing the growth of harmful ones. Flagellin is a protein that is found in the flagella of bacteria. It is also a potent stimulator of the immune system and can help to clear pathogens from the gut. Flagellin, a protein that plays a dual role in a bacterial motility apparatus and a potent immune system modulator. This remarkable molecule propels bacteria through their liquid environments while simultaneously engaging the host defense mechanisms. Flagellin has the ability to activate the immune system comes from its interaction with toll-like receptor 5, which is also known as TLR5, a pattern recognition receptor. This interaction triggers a cascade of signaling events leading to the production of inflammatory mediators and the activation of immune cells. Numerous additional molecular patterns are still under investigation in this field as ongoing research aimed to uncover further insights. Microbial patterns are important for maintaining a healthy gut microbiome in several different ways. Microbial patterns help to stimulate the immune system, which is essential for protecting the body from pathogens. Microbial patterns are essential for a healthy immune system. They help to stimulate the immune system, promote immunological memory, and maintain a balanced gut microbiome. These patterns can help to prevent the growth of pathogenic bacteria by competing with them for resources and by producing antimicrobial substances. Beneficial bacteria stimulated by microbial patterns compete with pathogenic bacteria for limited resources such as nutrients and space, hindering their growth. These antimicrobial substances create an unfavorable environment for pathogenic bacteria, further limiting their ability to establish themselves into the gut. Microbial patterns can help to maintain the integrity of the intestinal barrier, which prevents pathogenic bacteria from entering the bloodstream. 
microbial patterns interact with the intestinal epithelium, triggering signaling pathways that promote the production of tight junction proteins. These proteins bind adjacent epithelial cells tightly together, forming a remarkable barrier that restricts the passage of unwanted substances. Here are some references on this topic. Kindly read these papers for more detailed information. Alright, this was all I wanted to share regarding MAPS. Although research is going on in this area to find new MAPS and their role in human health. I'll keep you posted on such interesting topic in near future. My humble request is, if you have enjoyed this video, please do not forget to subscribe to the Basic Science series. Thank you.